Sheboygan man due in court tomorrow for alleged hate crime. <clears throat> no injuries in accidental shooting in Sheboygan. Senator Johnson denied a visa to Russia ahead of congressional visit. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, August 27, 2019. A Sheboygan man charged in a suspected hate crime is due in court Wednesday for his preliminary hearing. 63-year-old Scott Roeder is scheduled to appear in Sheboygan County Court. He and his son, 32-year-old Ryan Roeder, both from Sheboygan, are among the seven people charged for the July 4th incident. According to police, the incident began after the 4th of July fireworks show in Sheboygan and involved numerous suspects repeatedly using racial slurs and ordering young African-American women to go back to Milwaukee. The incident also involved a physical altercation that later took place between several suspects and the father of one of the young black females. During the altercation, the suspects reportedly had a shovel and a knife and the fight resulted in multiple injuries to people on both sides. One of the suspects in last May's overdose death in the Mead Public Library in Sheboygan is now facing a homicide charge. 36-year-old Damian Darnell Washington was charged late last week with first-degree reckless homicide. Washington still faces sev seven other felony charges in connection with the incident, during which a man took heroin outside and then died later in the bathroom stall inside the library. A motion hearing is now scheduled for October 3rd for Washington. Two other suspects have also been charged with felonies. Jessica Grande pleaded no contest to July in July to felony charges and is due in court for a sentence hearing on September 18th. Peter Bennett II is also facing multiple felony charges and is due in court for a plea hearing on September the 30th. No one was injured on Monday morning in Sheboygan in what appears to have been an accidental shooting. Sheboygan police got the call around 2 o'clock from a woman living in the 1800th block of South 11th Street. She reported that her home had been shot twice. Police later determined that her neighbor had accidentally discharged two shots and the incident was not directly targeted to the private re residence. Police say there is no continuing danger to the public. The neighbor, a 40-year-old Sheboygan man, was arrested and taken into the Sheboygan County Detention Center. He is being referred to the Sheboygan County District Attorney's Office for charges of recklessly endangering safety and intoxicated use of a firearm. Anyone with additional information about the incident is asked to contact the Sheboygan Police Department. There will be no garbage recycling pickup on Monday, September 2nd, 2019. Please note the difference in the following collection schedule for the week of September 2nd through September 8th. The curbside collection schedule will shift pickup ahead one day from the regularly scheduled with Friday's collection happening on Saturday, September 7th. The recycling center will be closed on Monday, September 2nd, and it will be open 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. on Saturday, September 8th. Monday, September 2nd, it is closed. Tuesday, September 3rd, it is open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, September 4th, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thursday, September 5th, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday, September 8th. 6th, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturday, September 7th, is 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The schedules can be found on the city's website and Facebook page. Two people were seriously injured in a Saturday afternoon motorcycle crash in the town of Greenbush. 
It happened at around 1 o'clock on County Highway A West, just south of Highway 67. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, a 40-year-old man and a 39-year-old female passenger were both critically injured after losing control of the motorcycle. Both victims were transported from the scene via helicopter. The cause of the accident is still being investigated. And finally, Senator Ron Johnson is being denied a visa for the upcoming trip to Russia. Senator Johnson had been scheduled to take a trip to Russia as part of a congressional delegation. Johnson says his opposition to Russian aggression in the Georgia and Crim Crimea region of Ukraine will not change and that the Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to disrespect elections and refuses to bring Russians or Russia's economy in line with the rest of the West. He is calling the denial a diplomatic game. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.